Hello everyone, this is General Hand Grenade here. Welcome to my war room in Prince George, British Columbia. Today I want to do a quick video on some new infantry pieces that I have. I was going to do a, a video on all of my customizations, but um, I, I'm still waiting for uh, a few of them. So when I do, because that's the question that I get most uh, on, uh, on my channel, um, in the comment section, people are asking, where did you get this piece or where did you get that? So I'm going to let you know where to get everything that I have. Um, but uh, I just wanted to show you the infantry because I finally got, have them all. Actually, I am waiting for one more, but, but I have enough of them. I just wanted to show them to you because I think they're so cool. Um, when I uh, did one of my first videos called General Hand Grenade and a Coffee, I talked about when I was a little boy and uh, buying um, uh, little packs of infantry when, um, for with my allowance for a dollar for a, a, each box and I, I was lamenting how I, I wish I could find those things again well anyway I found them I was in a local hobby store here and I, I found them and, and so uh, they didn't have many so then I ordered more off the internet so there you got the US paratroops and the British infantry the Australians the Japanese and there's all kinds of them, like the Germans you see there. There's, uh, you can get, uh, what is it, something like 90 different kinds of German infantry. Uh, uh, or Germans uh, of some kind. Uh, that, that doesn't include all the other models like tanks and things like that. But uh, the other kind of things, the tanks and stuff, they would be too big for this game. But the infantry are just the right size. They're the exact same size as the infantry in the game. And you see... Uh, there's uh, 172, that's the scale, that's the scale you need. There's also 138 or 136 or something. Uh, there's, a, there's three different sizes, I think, but 172 is the size that you need for this game. Um, with the British, I, I got two different kinds. I got the, the, British, uh, the British infantry over here. These are the ones that I'm using on the on the the European side of the board, and they're they're really cool sculpts too. Um, those are uh, just regular British infantry, and then over here, these are East Indian soldiers. They're Gurkhas, so uh, they're different. And each one of them has a commander, like this one here is a commander. Each one of these sets has some kind of commander. Uh, there's a radio operator for most sets as well. Um, they're pretty neat. But, uh, you know, this is kind of an extravagance. Like, I, I don't recommend that everybody run out and buy these. It's just, I like to play with little army men <laughs> more than most people, you know. So, because uh, it does cost money. Like, it costs about 10, around $10 for each box. And then the, if you're ordering them off the internet, of course, you're paying for uh, delivery charges and stuff. So, this is quite a bit of money in infantry. And I, you, you get more than you need. Uh, so I've got lots left over. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Maybe I should hold a contest or something for my uh, for my uh, subscribers and, and just give away like 10 of each or something like that. And I, I think it would be cool if somebody that, that, that did the, the painting that some of the people do where they paint them intricately uh, with several different colors on each piece. I think it'd be cool to see these things painted up like that. Um, but anyway, I, I just, uh, I like the different poses and stuff like that. Uh, the ones that I'm waiting for still, um, I, I ordered some great coat Russian infantry because I found that I didn't get enough Russians. Um, that, like there's only a few poses with the Russians and so I didn't want to get too many, uh, uh, put too many on, on the board of this, of the same pose for each one. So uh, I ordered more Russians and I'm going to paint them. You see my, my, the colors of um, Russia and Germany, they're slightly different than uh, out of box. And that's because I couldn't match the paint just right. So I painted the infantry and I thought, you know what, why not just paint the rest of them? I mean, they give you a whole can of spray paint. So I painted the rest of the units and I think they look pretty sharp anyway. I really like the way the, the color of the Germans uh, turned out. I think that's really neat. But uh, I like uh, I like the commanders. Like, look at this commander here. He's he's pretty cool. But uh, the level of detail on these things is just great. 
I think these would be great. If, I just don't have the patience or the eyesight anymore to paint them the way some people paint them. Uh, otherwise, I, I, it would be fun to paint these things up really nice. I wouldn't normally put this many Germans in there. I'd, I'd be using chips, but I just wanted to put them all on there and see what it kind of looks like. Um, and there you see the British over here. I think uh, down in here, that's where the British radio operator is right there. But each one of them comes with a, just about all of them come with a radio operator. Where's a German one? Here's a German radio operator here. Anyway. So there's the American commander down there. He's standing there with his binoculars. Show them to you there. Yeah, so anyway, I, I couldn't wait to, to show these to you. Uh, like I said, I'll do I'll do uh, a video on all the customizations and let you know where you can buy uh, all of the all of the stuff that I use in my game. Um, not that you should go out and buy all of this stuff. This is kind of like a hobby for me. I I needed to replace uh, things in my life that uh, that have changed. Uh, my life changed dramatically last year, so I have lots of extra time on my hands, and and this is what I'm doing with them. See this guy here. He's, He's carrying explosives. He's gonna go blow some, blow the shit out of something. Good for him. <laughs> this guy here, he thinks he can throw a grenade all the way to Japan. I don't know. Probably land on the shoreline, maybe ten feet into the water. Some of them are laying down too. Like here's a here's a machine gunner here. Uh, the, I only painted up a, a couple of the the machine gunners that are laying down, or the people that are crawling around, because. Uh, uh, in this game, I, I kind of like it when the guys are standing up, but some of them are neat low. Like you see this uh, this Italian guy here, he's got a grenade in his hand and he's going to throw it. Um, when you have a bigger space, it's okay to uh, to use the guys that are laying down, I guess. But you wouldn't want to set him in up in uh, Europe or whatever because you need that you need the extra space. Take a look here, there's the Italian commander in there. He kind of looks like the historical board gaming guy, the commander. In fact, I, I put them side by side. And, but the historical board gaming, if you've ever bought the, the Italian pieces, uh, actually, uh, yeah, yeah, the, yeah the, the Italian pieces, I think they're, I got them from uh, I Will Never Grow Up, that's right, the Italian set. And the commander is, a, is almost exactly the same as the other commander, if not exactly the same, but, the the other ones are slightly smaller if you if you've ever bought a set of those you notice that the infantry is just a tiny bit smaller so this commander here is just slightly larger than the other commander that i have but i mean you could make up house rules for uh for commanders if you had a set of these you could even do something with radios because of all the radio operators there are i like this piece here this is uh, the regular German infantry. He's throwing a potato masher. <laughs> but yeah, this isn't the color that they come in. The Germans were a, a pretty close in color, they were, but they were a gray. And I didn't mind that. I was going to live with it, but then I decided, you know what? Like I painted, uh, I tried it, just this metallic black and it, and it turned out so well. I thought, you know what? I'd, I'd like all my, all of my Germans painted this way. Besides, I wanted to uh, I wanted to add at some point in time self-propelled artillery, and so I'm going to need to match the the pieces anyway. So I'm going to get uh, I might as well start painting them now. The self-propelled artillery are gray, the ones that I have in my America the board game set. Anyway, I just wanted to show you. Those. I'm not going to bother with the Chinese. Or the French, you can buy those, but uh, you know what? They, they don't they don't last very long in the game here, and and they are expensive, and and also the paint as well. If you wanted to paint them, that that adds a cost as well, and the lacquer to go over top of the paint to protect it. So I'm not going to bother with the French or the Chinese, but you can buy World War One characters. I've ordered some of those as well. Uh, um, Although I, I noticed you couldn't buy all of the ones if you were playing the 1914 game. But they are they are really cool though. 
This guy, he's crawling around. There's another machine gunner laying down for the Japanese there. Anyway, that's about it. I just wanted to show you those. So there's the Gurkhas that I'm using for, uh, for the British. So, that's all I wanted to show you this week. Uh, you might have noticed the uh, little yellow research markers on there. I'm working on um, some new research and development rules. I think that I've got a really good idea. I'm just uh, I'm going to play test it first and everything just to make sure because I didn't like the way the research and development turned out with this spy. I thought that uh, there was still too much left to chance. So what I want to do is I want to I want uh, to find a logical way of doing it, not a uh, a hope and a prayer way of doing it where you're rolling dice. Uh, I think I found a logical way to, of doing it, but I'm, I'm going to test it out and, and, and see how that goes. Anyway, I hope you all have a, a good day. This is General Hand Grenade. Take care, everyone.